Hello? Hey, NVIDIA, hi! Oh, you want me to take a closer look at NVIDIA DLSS and ray tracing? Can is can. Let's do that now. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing that I'm already here at the Invader PC showroom. Hey guys, Mel here. Today, we are here in the Invader PC studio as NVIDIA and Invader PC have invited me down to come and take a deeper look at NVIDIA DLSS and ray tracing, especially when NVIDIA's technology has advanced quite a fair bit this year. If only my co-host will show up now. <laughs> Hi. Hey Mel, well, thanks for inviting me to the Invader PC studio. What do you mean? Appreciate it. So, on a side note, you're quite early today. Eh? I'm always early. What do you mean? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay, but since Joe, you are hmm. invited down, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, that's actually a great idea. So guys, hi, this is Joseph from the Invader PC team. For those of you who know or don't already know, Invader PC is a custom PC building company located in the heart of Singapore. We are about 5 minutes walk away from Bendemir MRT and right behind Micron Semiconductor. As to what we do, we partner with brands like NVIDIA and ASUS to create fully customized systems for all our customers. In fact, for the month of July, we have actually released many same-day delivery systems that you can check out at our website down in the description box below. And don't forget to check out our new systems like Lanku 3 and the Fantex G360A. But back to the main topic though, Mel, why don't you take it away? Take, take what away? Okay, okay. Alright guys, today we will be taking a closer look at NVIDIA DLSS and Ray Tracing. But what actually is DLSS and Ray Tracing? Before we touch on ray tracing and NVIDIA DLSS, we must first know what is NVIDIA RTX. NVIDIA's RTX is the most advanced platform for ray tracing and AI technologies that is revolutionizing the ways we play and create. And NVIDIA DLSS and ray tracing is part of that package. DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling and what it does is that it uses advanced AI rendering technology to upscale images from a lower resolution to a higher one while maintaining image quality that's comparable to native resolution which in turn increases your in-game performance. As for ray tracing, it stimulates how light would behave in the real world to produce the most realistic and immersive graphics for gamers and creators. Wow, that's very clear. But how will we be taking a closer look at them today? Isn't that what I should be asking you? Okay, okay. <laughs> so here's a spec list of what we'll be using as our test bench today. And without further ado, here's the system. For games, we'll be running Dying Light 2. Unfortunately, there isn't any inbuilt benchmark. So what we will be doing to test for ray tracing and NVIDIA DLSS performance is to run a specific parkour challenge multiple times in a controlled manner. Okay, so I've already set up the challenges and the settings for you to run the benchmarks. And later, we will be taking a look at recordings to see a side-by-side -side comparison of ray tracing on versus ray tracing off. Mm. So if you take a look here, if you go into the options itself, you can go to video, you can see right now we are on high quality and max settings without any upscaling. Mm. Right? So what I want you to do very simply is just take a walk around and later on enter the room that is behind you. Ah, okay. Right. Mm. So now that we have done, let's go into ray tracing to see how this compares. So from here, we go into ray tracing high quality. 
and let's make sure that there is no upscaling applied as of right now. Okay. Right, and then let's just restart the game. Oh, we're back here. Wow, the FPS immediately you can see it has dropped quite significantly. That's right. So I want you to do the same walk that you did mm. and go to the same room that you have. Oh my god, look at this. It's very different now. But don't worry, mm -hmm. after this we will go through the testing and then we will really see a side by side comparison on the benefits and cons of both DLSs and ray tracing. Here we are. Alright, so over here we have ray tracing on and we can tell that the dark areas are really dark, the bright areas are bright, it's very immersive. But how can we actually tell the difference with ray tracing on and off? Possibly with a side-by-side -side comparison? Don't worry, we actually do have a recording of this exact room in the daytime with ray tracing on and off. Mm. So if you click Alt tab, you will actually Alt see two instances of the same room. So why don't you take it away, Professor Now, and let us know what you see that is different in this scene. Okay, right off the bat, we can see on the left side, we got ray tracing on, and it seemingly looks overall darker. So it's a lot more realistic in that sense. And if we pick out certain areas like this and this, the reflection on the panel, you can see this detail over here on, with ray tracing on, and not so much here on uh, the right side over here without ray tracing. And of course, we can see that overall, the one without ray tracing looks brighter, which can be a little bit not so realistic because light sources are not so out there. Hey, that's a great analysis. Right. But I thought ray tracing means it's brighter overall. Nah, it actually diffuses the light more uh, differently and more realistically. Back to what you said about ray tracing, it really does make the game feel very different, especially with how bright and dark the rooms can be with how the light is diffused. That's right. But with how hard hitting ray tracing is, how does that actually really more or less affect performance? I would say the FPS really took a hit, you know, but at the same time, it's still really enjoyable. But don't worry, this is where DLSS really shines. Oh, so why mm. don't we let Professor Mel here take center stage and explain to us how DLSS actually works and how it helps us. Me again? <laughs> so, NVIDIA DLSS, like I said earlier, basically upscales the resolution of the render to create an experience that is as good or even, in some cases, better than native resolution without impacting performance as much as you are rendering the game at a lower resolution. With NVIDIA DLSS, there are generally a few modes available and depending on how much performance gains and trade-offs you are looking for. From quality to ultra performance, depending on your game, you can actually gain over 50 to even 60 FPS. Is DLSS really that good? If you look at the recordings right here, you can see that the performance difference between native 4K with RTX on versus DLSS quality and RTX on is already quite significant. Easily double of the FPS. That's actually really quite impressive. So does that mean that people will be able to actually play 4K and actually run games like Dying Light 2 even though their systems may not be exactly be the best? That's right. In fact, there are different modes as well that people can choose and push the FPS even further. Wow, that's actually quite nice to hear. So Mel, you actually just showed us, right, especially with a quality mode from mm. the SS, right, how it actually performs and helps us, especially with games when ray tracing is on. Yes. Right? So why don't, since you're doing so well with the Professor Code and everything, right, why don't you take it away and let our audience know how DLSS and rather the different modes, how do they actually work? Sure. But before that, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see what we're going to do next with ray tracing. And with that, no, take it away. All right. So, NVIDIA DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling basically uses AI rendering to fill in the missing gaps of an image when it is being upscaled, which results in better gaming performance as you do not need to render the game at native settings. What happens is that depending on the mode you are using, you can be actually rendering the game at four times lower the resolution. So with ray tracing on and DLSS, 
doesn't that mean you can kind of play games with ray tracing and without the cost of performance? Exactly, this goes to show how far technology has come and how game-changing this is. Speaking of gaming, back to gaming. So, Professor Nell, could you kindly explain to us what happened there? How did you end up exploding? Uh, I was having a blast. All jokes aside though, I hope that you coming here and experiencing everything hands-on allowed you to get a better insight of how NVIDIA's DLSS and ray tracing actually work mm -hmm. and how they actually change up the PC space. That's right. This will increase the longevity of your system, making it more future-proof. And if you play future titles with NVIDIA DLSS, this will increase the performance without any drawbacks. That's right. And before we go, we'd like to thank Mel for actually dropping by to experience your SS and ray tracing with us. And don't forget to like and follow her on all her social media platforms down in the description box down below. Thank you so much for having me. I had a blast. Yep, you, <laughs> you definitely did. Definitely. Okay. Don't forget to check out NVIDIA as well. I hear they are running their restocked and reloaded campaign right now. That's right folks, NVIDIA is reaching out to all you gamers, creators, and even anyone who wants to get a gaming GPU. They have actually restocked all their GPUs across their lineup to ensure everyone can get a gaming PC today. Don't forget to reach out to Invader PC if you're looking for a new NVIDIA GeForce RTX PC. And don't worry if you're not too sure what kind of systems that you're looking for. Don't worry because this month together with our same day delivery systems, we want you guys to come try out our systems. Feel free to drop by our showroom and win special prizes and get even up to $50 off by just by dropping by our showroom to try our systems before making a purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like this video if you enjoy such content. Or if you wanted to, us to see a deeper dive into things like ray tracing, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And in fact, why don't you check out Mel's previous video where we took a look at the world's fastest gaming CPU. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Peace.